All right, welcome back for Bullfrog Nutrition's six-year anniversary party. Local gym Revitalized Fitness is hosting a series of private workouts with fitness celebrities. And we got a one runner right here. Oh, I, I told you earlier in the show, I'm excited. Joey Swall is here. Ah, uh, Joey, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you guys having me, and I'm actually the new host of this show. Oh, <laughs> that's fine. You guys know, I'm, that's fine I, by I'm me. I'm a permanent stay. <laughs> I'll, I'll be leaving. We'll be arm wrestling for we'll it later. We'll have to take you down to our gym. <laughs> I don't know if you like that. Absolutely, I'm in. <laughs> we have you, like four we'll, weights. We'll arm wrestle for the position later. Oh, I'm down. Exactly. We should switch seats. You're we toast. can do that right now. Oh, You're no. toast. This is good. This is good. I know my limits. People watching, I don't want to hurt his feelings. I know my limitations. Okay, so for, uh, I have many questions, but first let's let's get to the reason why you're here in Toledo. Yeah. What is the reason? Uh, so we are doing a series of banner raisings at Revitalize Fitness, as well as here to celebrate the six-year anniversary of Bullfrog Nutrition. Paul, thank you very much for having us and for setting this all up, and my business partner Mark. Um, yeah, just here to celebrate fitness and to, like I said, visit those gyms and promote positivity and good gym culture. Okay, so you talk about positivity. I know this is one thing that, of course, you know, we see it on your shirt. This is a platform for you. Why did you decide this is something that I need to continue to talk about? Because the gym should be a space where everybody feels safe to go to better themselves. And unfortunately, because of things like social media and a lot of this, what I like to call toxic gym culture, a lot of people feel a lot of fear, a lot of anxiety of going to the gym, get bullied, things like that. And I wanted to combat that and show what true gym culture and the true gym community is all about. Yeah, it can be intimidating, especially Very. if you don't go to the gym and we don't look like you. You walk in there, uh, especially as a female from time to time, in a room full of weights and Ab guys that are, you know, benching stuff. <laughs> Absolutely. But I will say one of the things I love to see, especially over the last 10 years, yeah. is the amount of females that are by the weights, by the dumbbells, yes. and killing it and doing a great job has increased significantly because of great female leaders in the space, which I love to see. Yeah, which so. wasn't the case. But 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 as, as we will point out here, and that's a great thing, but there are other people uh, that might take a little bit of advantage of it. We're always wanting to get on social media. We're always wanting to post our workouts, and that's one thing that you address. Uh, there are certain people who like to put their workouts on, and then when somebody walks by innocently to see <laughs> if you're done with it, if you're not done with it, all of a sudden, oh, they're looking at me. Where do you go, uh, where do you come out on that? Listen. I am completely fine with filming at the gym if it's allowed, but you have to film responsibly with respect to other people. Your video, your filming is not a priority, right? If somebody walks through, too bad. Nobody that's watching your video is going to be like, oh my God, somebody walked through the video. I can't watch the rest of this. I didn't learn anything. I'm not inspired. Um, so obviously, uh, you know, addressing stuff like that. And gym culture has become something where people have focused a little more on trying to bully other people, getting views at the expense of other people in the gym that maybe don't know as much or are intimidated or, you know, in certain situations I've covered. And just trying to get people to be like, hey, you know, what you're doing has an effect. And that cost is people don't want to go to the gym because they mm -hmm. think they're going to come across people like you. And you're stealing that from people, and that's not fair. Hmm. Yeah, good point. So yeah. you're here for this special anniversary, these specialized workouts, the big event happening tomorrow. So tomorrow. what can people expect? Uh, a great time with some phenomenal athletes. You know, I'm very blessed to be there. You got guys like Jay Cutler coming, Guy Cisterino, uh, Dorian Hamilton, Jen Dory, uh, John Goob. There is a list of phenomenal athletes from all over the country, some from out of the country that are coming in for this event. Paul did a great job, uh, and we're super excited. Okay, so I, I just have to ask. I just Go have ahead. To ask. Go ahead, fanboy. Bring so, it on, big man. How, how much you bench? Considering this is your last show, and I'm taking <laughs> yeah, over. That's right. Hey, I'm working on my calves, Joey. I I'm love working that. on my calves. Cows. <laughs> Cows. <laughs> That's right. Come on, how much you bench? Can you, you give me that? All Are of we it. Max yeah, all right. Oh, <laughs> see? Okay. What so a positive her. answer. For <laughs> witticisms like this, uh, tell people how to give you a uh, follow and where to follow you at. Yeah, uh, you can check me out on all social media, Joey Swole. You can kind of just search me. I pop up uh, on all different platforms uh, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, uh, all of it. Um, if you want to check me out, Hopefully you enjoy what you see, become a little inspired, but most importantly, just trying to promote, you know, positive culture, kind of combat bullying in the gym and in society in general. That's the other thing that my message is all about. The golden rule, treat people the way you want to be treated. Sure, sure. Whether you're in the gym, at the store, or anywhere in the world, you know, be a kind human being. It doesn't, you don't have to bench 500 pounds to treat people with love and compassion. See? So. You still have a chance. It's good. Hey, I'm at 4.99, Joey. <laughs> I'm almost there. Well, thanks for coming. Thanks for giving us a little bit of a smile today. We really appreciate it. Thank you, being guys, here. for having me. I really love being here. For sure. Appreciate it.